Welcome to more about knowledge. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hello guys, my name is Dibbendu Patra, an SAP consultant with having 8 plus years of SAP experience. This is my first video and this is my SAP profile which I have created in 2013 October, October 2013 in SAP Community Network. In that time it was, it was SCN, SAP Community Network. I've been started using SAP Community Network since 2013 and nowadays you can see my snapshot i have written total 40 blog post here and uh, including 40 blog post i have three i have written uh, i have given 370 answers to all questions and three questions that i had asked and 22 archive discussions which i have created during scnpo you can also see my network i have 203 followers and i am following 78 people and not only this including this i have received some of my reputation like uh, here you can see my reputations previously in scn sap community network the reputation was a bit different but now in sap community it becomes a bit different in sap community so guys this is a snapshot of my profile and now the main intention of this video to give you a brief explanation and brief uh, interpretation about my all blogs which I have written in SAP community. Although I have written it very clearly and I have written it even each and every screenshot. But now I am thinking about I will explain this blog in a such a manner and I will do it in real time in SAP system so to give you a brief explanation like uh, whenever you will be doing in your SAP system so that it won't be confused in, uh, in, in during uh, processing in your uh, in your uh, system okay so I have written as you can see I have written total 40 blogs so it is not possible to cover 40 blogs in one video so let's I will go one by one so I will take my first blog where I have written in uh, in year of 2015 no, no, no in year of 2013 this is about a, a create info record for different order unit with different price so sometimes suppose vendor is uh, providing you material where uh, they will be sometime they will be providing in bags sometime they will be providing in kg sometime they will be providing in uh, box kind of things so vendor is using multiple order you need whenever they transfer they uh, sell a material to a company so company whenever company purchase company like to store it as a different different order unit of major but sometimes what happen whenever you will buy a smaller amount of piece uh, from vendor vendor is going to charge extra but whenever you want to buy a large amount of uh, large amount or large quantity of material vendor can give some discount so in that case the lower amount the lower portion of unit lower lower portion of unit of measure can give a uh, smaller uh, price and uh, sorry bigger higher price and uh, for a bigger unit of measure uh, can give a smaller price so suppose a material comes with kg or numbers but uh, sometime it can come with a bag where one bag is equal to 10 pieces or 10 kg or 10 numbers so sometimes you must be you uh, would like to purchase or your company would like to purchase like uh, i want to purchase 1000 bags and sometimes your company uh, would be interested for purchasing of uh, 10 quantity or 15 quantity or uh, 1000 uh, 1, numbers or 1000 kg so sometimes what happened uh, user need to maintain that one what what is the price for one bag and what is the price for one number so this you can so there is a facility in sap sap there you can create that you uh, in general way you will be using only one unit of measure in your purchase order and the price has to be calculated according to that way but 
whenever you tr you will try to create purchase order every time if you change the unit of measure you need to adjust the pride auto adjust the pride man price manually right so sap has given an option where you just need to do some changes in your uh, in changes in your master data and it is everything uh, configuration everything already configured in your sap system so it is given by standard sap you just need to use this uh, uh, facility in your sap in your sap system so changes required only in master data and even though it is very small change only in material master and info record so let's go to that i've given you about the business scenario now we'll be going through all one by one steps so here i have written that what are the prerequisites for this so you can see that these are the prerequisites where where we need to perform so the first prerequisite is to changing master data right so let me log on to SAP system. So I have logged in in SAP system and I have gone to MM02. I have chosen one material master. So I need to go to purchasing because I just want to change the uh, order unit, order price unit as shown in this blog. So it's in purchasing tab. It is in purchasing tab. So I just need to change this variable order unit. So I need to make it two. Okay. So uh, let's go to SAP again. So okay. So it's already two there. If it is not there in your system, then activate it as an two. And the description of this two, let me tell you, it is active with own price. Okay. Then just press save okay changes were saved now, now let's see what is saying uh, after this blog okay again so again we need to go to material master and we need to check the additional data and unit of major okay let's go to again mm02 So you can choose either basic data or in purchasing into your plant. Go to additional data and then unit of major. Go to the tab unit of major. Here yeah, it's already there. I have written there 200 each for is equal to one piece, one liter is equal to five nose, one ST is equal to five, one CS is equal to 13, and one kiloliter is equal to 5,000 pieces, 5,000 nose. So you need to uh, define these all in all alternate alternative unit of measure as per your requirement. I'll go back. Again, I will check that what are the other prerequisites. So the second prerequisite is to check access sequence and here I've written only 66 and 67 the uh, condition table 66 and condition table 66 67 would be required in access sequence whatever you are, you are using for your uh, condition type and this is has to be for your base price condition type by default it can it is for sap by default it is pb00 or pbxx but if it is different then you need to check in your sp system so let me check it for my gross price so i am using pb00 only So I'll be checking my access sequence where uh, PB00 is using the same access sequence. So you need to check it from M slash 06. First, you need to check the what is what is the access sequence which has been assigned for uh, PB00 condition type. So let me check it. Okay, so it's the standard one 0002. Now I need to go to, to go to the access sequence by using M slash 06. This is a caution of con uh, so this is my access sequence now i need to go to details okay so now I'll, i have to check that whether 66 and 67s are there so with the 66 and 67s both are there as by my screenshot both are there 
right if it is missing then you need to uh, add all these four entries where 66 and 67 has to be there okay okay so once it is done then the third priority third prerequisite is to info record so in info record if your info record is not there then you need to create info record if your info record is there you just need to check this portion because if info record is not there then you need to create and if it is info record is already there this changes of material master will not be affecting your info record so you need to change your info record manually let me check i hope i have already created an info record for this so yes it is there okay so here is the variable order unit here you need to change all this as per my uh, given screenshot in this blog so first so only you need to care about the variable order unit so let's make here i have already given the variable order unit same as 00, zero same as 2 okay so once it is done then just save the data and then okay so sorry you need to go again this info record and you need to maintain the price accordingly so you need to go to purchasing data your yeah, price is already maintained 99 for one nose then okay it is checked okay so then we need to place condition tab let's press condition tab okay so here we go here we have received that this unit of measure will all the unit of measure where we have maintained it for material master so let's maintain it for case just double click or select the case and choose as i have written here I have written here for bag so now we need to do the same so here is the validity from and pv00 is the condition type let me make it for cs let me note note it somewhere else somewhere else as well as we will check during creation of purchase order it is fetching correctly or not let me open MS Excel. Okay. So for CS, it is I have maintained hundred, hundred. Okay. So then again I need to go back. I need to again click condition. I need to go to each each I'm gonna maintain 10 rupees I'll go back again press condition I'm gonna maintain kiloliter kiloliter I'm gonna maintain 3000 rupees okay let's make into uh, the same in excel sheet kiloliter is 3000 rupees and I maintain it for each is equal to 50 rupees 10 rupees hopefully I have maintained 10 rupees let me check it again yeah 10 rupees okay so that's fine that's enough I think I don't need to uh, enter more so so I have saved my purchasing uh, info record okay, right. okay so uh, here here I have also explained about the same choose a different different order unit and maintain your pricing as per your requirement and now we'll be going for result so for the result we need to go to for create purchase order creation okay so you know about purchase order creation is me 21 n so uh, i'm giving a vendor i need to use the same material i'll be using po quantity 
10 and if I do not enter here anything then it will take the base unit of measure or if you are using order unit in uh, purchasing purchase info record or in material master then system will take the order unit I also written one blog about this order unit where it where during creation of purchase order what is the uh, first prerequisite what is the first uh, sequence and what is the then what is the second thing which is uh, taking care about during creation of purchase order I will be creating one video about the same about this this facility also this uh, order you need and order price you need and what is base you need and how is this linking to each other right okay so I'm gonna enter my plant so same plant which you are using for info record that you have to give here okay so as you see we have maintained NOS for 100 rupees Okay, we have maintained CS for 100 rupees. So let me check it for CS. Okay, it is CS, it becomes 100 rupees. And uh, let me check it for EA. So I'll change it as EA. I've changed it as EA. Now you can see that price is price is become 100. This is another error where uh, we I have made it like effective price and material price combination. So you can see that the net price will become is becoming uh, 10. Now again, I'll be using kiloliter. So if I use kiloliter, the price has to be 3000. Yes, the price is now 3000. So in this way, automatic fetching of price for different different order unit as per your requirement. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us your comment in the comment section. If you have any query regarding this video or you got stuck somewhere, then please post your question in the comment section or email us. We will revert you.